Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I made this last week and I thought it was super cute. It was made of a 12 by 12 uh, paper pack and I just cut two long strips of 6 by 12 and made this really cute folio that has lots of tags and tucks and little spaces to hide things inside your junk journal. I thought I would make another one so I went ahead and made this little prototype right here in my junk journal. Um, it's this is not what we're doing I mean this is what we're doing but not with this paper so I'm going to use the remainder of last week's paper which is two strips of 6 by 12 and I think we can duplicate this replicate this it's just a little um, a little folio that can tuck into your junk journal I use the little wooden paper um, uh, clothespin to clip mine in and um, again it's simple and you can house tons of little things and little things can hide inside of here there's a little tuxedo pocket back here and um, another one of those flipped over pockets on the back side so I thought we can make one of these again today with our remaining paper so that this doesn't end up in the scrap pile so let's grab some 12 by 6 paper or if you want to use last week's um, remainder from this project grab some more of that paper and uh, we can make one of those today all right so I'll be right back all right so I know today's make it Monday is a little bit late um, I just got back from camping I literally just got back like maybe an hour or two ago so all I've really done so far while I was thinking about how to make this project I uh, took my paper and I scored it in several areas now this is an 11 and a half um, by 8 sheet of paper this right here is what I used one sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper and I cut it into halves and then scored it into quarters and I'll show you exactly what that means so let's just say this was our full sheet of 12 by 12 you would score it and cut it in half make two sheets but we're using last week's remainder so this is what I have two sheets of 6 by 12 and then I went ahead and scored it into quarters so I first scored it at 6 inches that gave me my halfway mark and then I scored it at 3 and 9 which gave me my two quarters um, or my four quarters on the sides okay so if you were to fold it over you would end up with this M if you folded it the other way you would end up with a W so <laughs> So yeah, I mean it's really that simple at the moment, all right? So now we're going to get into some of the folds and um, rounding the corners and gluing the whole thing together. I no longer need my scoreboard, so I'll move that out of the way and let's figure out how we're going to put this all together. So I know right now this is my bottom, what I want to do is round all my corners. And because I don't want uh, my corner rounder to choke, I'm only going to put in a couple of sections at a time. And if you don't get a full rounded corner, just go back in and round it again. Right? So there's that, that. Um, there's a corner over here. And my end corner over here. All right, so now this fully tells me that this is my bottom section of that folio. And I missed, I missed the corner. Okay, so there's my bottom section of this little folio. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And if you want to crease your edges to make going through your corner rounder easier, please do so because it does help. Um, you want to make sure that you get each one of these corners nice and tight so that you can get it into your corner rounder and one more okay i think i think that's it get in there okay yeah that was it all right so now we have these two sections right here i think the first thing i did was i went ahead and glued this section to this section all right so let's do that I'm going to use Fabrifix glue because I get the feeling that my uh, art glitter isn't behaving, performing like it should. So I'm just going to use a little bit of art glitter, I mean um, Fabrifix, on my glue mat 
Yes, I heard you. I'm putting it on the glue mat. And to get this first side lined up, it's pretty simple. You don't want it to go too close to the corner. And now that you have your corners rounded, you can just line these two up right there like so. And the first one, let me just take a look at the prototype. All right, so this first one is our um, tuxedo pocket, right? So this looks like that. So yeah, this one is our tuxedo pocket right over here. So I'm going to show you how we do that one right off the bat. We're going in with the hard stuff. The only thing we need to do is flip our paper over to the back side. I'm using single-sided paper, as you can see. And um, on this back side right here is where you want to fold your the two flaps that touch each other here in the center. So these two inner flaps. You're going to fold one over on an angle like so. And you're going to fold the other one back on itself like so. So now we have these two little lapels sort of that are going to meet each other right here on this center, um, in the center quadrant of the folio. And I just put a little bit of glue to hold down this flap right here. I probably didn't do it on the prototype, but um, I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm just going to get a little bit of glue here on this lapel. And again, I'm just using Fabrifix glue because I'm not really con convinced that my uh, art glitter is ready to play. It's been sitting for too long. And um, yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of Fabrifix glue right here in the on the lapels of uh, this little tuxedo part. So these two will line up like this and become a pocket, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the edges here to um, to connect them. So just here, halfway down on this side, across the top, I mean the uh, across the bottom, and then up the other side all the way to there. And I believe I need a little bit more glue right there. Okay. So I'm just going to line up the bottoms where my corners are rounded. There. So now we have our first little, our little tuck right there. It will be a tuck in the front and a tuck in the back. So next we need to fold over our wall to make that pocket in the back here, right? So I'm just going to glue all the way around this side right here. So I'm going to come down this way, go across the bottom, and I think that should be enough glue because it's a crease here in the middle. So we're just going to fold this one over onto the side to make that back pocket. And it's really nice when you have your corners already rounded. You just line everything up accordingly. And then we're going to fold this one in on itself like so. And then this becomes a flip over. So I'm going to flip this one over on its side to make another little triangle, a little lapel. As straight as possible. And then I'm going to fold it back up about a quarter of an inch. So from here to here, it's about a quarter of an inch. And it's nice that this paper has little um, a little grid pattern on it. And then I'm going to fold it back down just up to the line of the open pocket. And if you want to leave it just like that, you can. Or if you want the pattern side showing here, you can fold it back one more time. 
So we just did a little, little accordion thing right there with the triangle that we folded over on the outside, right? And if you want, you can put some um, Fabrifix glue to keep this little section down right here. Put a little bit more to keep that section down right there. Put some on the inside here to keep this section down. And if you went the extra mile and folded yours one more time, you can put a little bit of Fabrifix on this little flap right here. And that's going to take some drying time, so I will probably clip it. So that's one side that's already almost done. When it's dry, we'll open it up and take a look. Oh, here's our... We never even glued the pocket. Hello? Come on, Nicole. Get it together. Let's glue this pocket down. <laughs> I completely forgot to glue the pocket. Okay. Yep, so that's going to take some time to dry. I'm just going to put some clips just to hold everything um, in place while it's drying. And then we can flip it over and work on the other side. So here's our lapel pocket, the little tuxedo pocket that we made. It's there in the center. So this right here is going to fold over this way. This one is going to fold this way. Let's just see. I can do something like like this, like that, like that, and then put the lapel pocket on this side. Let's try it, okay? <laughs> We're trying it. So, of course, single-sided paper, your pockets will only show on one side, but we can decorate here if this is our front. We'll decorate the bottom here, embellish it, and make it pretty. So. Here's the, um, the way that this side is going to fold over, just like that. And then this will become our triangle lapel on this side. Oh, that lines up very nicely. And then we'll fold it back about a quarter of an inch on itself. And then fold it forward. And this one I'm going to leave down because folding it back again will just give it the plain side of the, uh, the paper. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue under each one of these folds and then some on the inside of that fold. And I'm going to glue down this pocket right here. You know, I always get to a certain point in the project and I'm like, I think I made this before. <laughs> I always have like that deja vu moment, like I'm almost positive I've made this at some point or another. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> we'll just keep making the same things that make us happy over and over again. All right, so there's that. This pocket is now glued down put my clip here to keep that closed so that pockets glued down this pockets glued down here's our tuxedo pocket in the back there we need to do something here so um, this is where it will clip into the journal here's our front so let's do something on the front of this one I think I'm just going to do something really simple I'm going to get some decorated paper. Ah, here's something right here. Didn't have to go far. So this is just some washi collage paper that I have on hand. I can either put that there or put a background stamp in this area here. Anything can happen, right? This is this is our world. We can do whatever we want. So I think I'm just going to cut my washi collage, mat it on here. So let's round the corners. Oops. I'm just going to mat it to the to the um, 
the cardstock and then cut away the excess. So let's see how much of that I'm going to need. So I'm just matting it just to the uh, to the rounded corners just like so and I'm going to pull this up to the top here and cut away the excess. looks pretty slick so that's all I really did I just added some washi collage right that's it and luckily my fabric fix wasn't completely dry so I was able to tuck it up underneath there and I'm just gonna add a couple of embellishments on here so let's see some some of this is just uh, some Dollar Tree items. I got this at the Dollar Tree for, it was a package of all different um, clocks and watches and it's some chipboard, um, laser cut chipboard. So this is a cute little embellishment that can go right here on the front. Right there. And I have my little decorated bow on a button. This is a bow with the little uh, flat back pearl on it. And I can probably place that on this side. It'll then be a little bulky, but I mean, it's totally up to you how much bulk you want on this. Oh, that will look cute right up there. So I know it's going in a chunky junk journal. So. My junk journal is already oversized. Just gonna pop that right back there on that plain background. It's looking better already. I'm feeling better about it already. Okay, so I'm guessing this may be dry. And that's gonna take some time to dry, but here's how this right here will clip into a junk journal. We have this section, this section, and then this section. So here's how it's going to clip in to your junk journal. I left this section right here un, um, not sealed up. So it'll go right in here like that. And I'll take a pretty little clothespin with a, what is that, dragonfly hanging from it. Or I can do this one, the little bumblebee dangling from it little charm and that will clip on to my junk journal just like that it's really simple I think we can all try this it's not that hard I know some of my uh, flips and flaps and fold here fold here may not make sense to you but I'm telling you you can do it just rewind the video and you can do it all right, guys, I'm going to leave you right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My videos come out probably daily. I'm trying to put them out daily, Monday through Saturday. And, um, yeah, if you like these videos, just give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Stay naturally curious and have a crafty day, guys. Bye.